Okay, so are you filming? So this afternoon, me and Tegan have a project. We have bags upon bags of recyclable cans and bottles Please. that are out in our garage. This is just from in the house, as far as I can find. Ben will probably find more. <laughs> so Tegan and I, we, we're starting with zero. We're gonna see how much money we can make appear out of all these bottles that have uh, been piling up outside. So you're gonna, you're one upping yeah. Ryan Trahan because you're starting at zero. I'm starting and at zero. And he started at one penny. And, and all this is going <laughs> into our bank account. <laughs> and that's your inventory that yeah. already, you already had. And Tegan came up with the idea to get some more is that later tonight maybe we can go for a walk down the road and see if there are any bottles we can pick up litter and clean, clean the side of the road. And if you don't know what Ryan Trahan is, um, yeah, yes, I, I explained it on my channel, Tegan Testing. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go out. All right. Tegan underscore Testing. So, Tegan, we went through this. So, every bottle is worth five cents. And how many bottles are in a dollar? Remember the piles? I'm, I'm going to have you set aside piles of 20. That's right. All right, let's do this. Have fun. Bye. Three dollars in the first bag. You got a little happy toy. Yeah, we have a system. Three dollars first. This is all we have? Wow, I thought we were going to have way more than that. And I have like some two collective pages of like what we like to like separate and like all the few bags. Mm -hmm. There could be more buried way in the bag. I don't know. It's hard to get to. I like your outfit, bud. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's my garbage man outfit. Oh, good. Nice. I'm the garbage man. Okay, we're starting a new bag so you can use up the rest of those glass bottles. Okay. We just didn't want to put too many glass bottles into our first bag and have it like rip apart. Wait, is this adding up from the other bag? No, each individual okay. bag is going to have its own but, grand total. So on the final page? Yep, on the final page we'll add them all together, yeah. Okay, two. I'm just going to put one dollar. Yeah, we know it's going to have at least a dollar in there. Yeah. <laughs> a couple Dollar Tree cans in there. So this is your system? Yep, our circle system. Okay, so what do we got? So we got some cans and some bottles. We, we, we're supposed to have 10 groups of two, so we need one more can or bottle. Yep, and I gotta put it right here. Okay. <laughs> you could tell our vices, water and coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, load them up, load them up. Off the backboard. Circle wrong. That was our mistake. Every time the breeze kicks up, the bottles blow away, or try to. So what? What's your prediction here? We're probably looking at what, like ten dollars. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have more. I thought we were gonna be in the twenty range, but there weren't as many bags as I thought. Um. I'm going to go with the uh, $12. Okay. All right, I'll come back out and check on you guys. Let us know if you find any more uh, bottles in the house. All right. Yeah, and if you do, bring them to us immediately because we're the cash man boys. Boys! Hi. All right, you're in. How much Hi. did you guys end up counting? We got $18.00. And 20 cents. Wow, we were all wrong. And I don't think any 
this one would get it right because of the extra sands we had. Oh. So that's probably why no one got it right. Yeah. So firstly, we are back from the Redemption Center. $18 and 20 cents richer. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So our next thing, we have a big bare wall right here. We have plenty of bare walls in this house. <laughs> and that's going to change. We have multiple years, at least 10 years worth of travel where we go to conventions and get prints or posters. Mm -hmm. And we always say, we're going to frame that someday. And we never do. And guess what? We're going to. We're going to. That's our goal. Yes. We have a wall upstairs where Ben is putting all her puzzles. Right. So a lot of these are from D23. This is the uh, Div Disney Legends yes. print that we got for being a D23 member. Mm -hmm. 20... I think it says on the back. 2017, I want to say. Oh, no, I guess it doesn't. In 2019, we got the one with Lastic and Ryan that they have on their wall. Yeah. It's pretty neat. I, th I think we showed it off when we got it. I'm sure we did. I would be shocked if we did not. Like, I had no memory of this Cadence and Flurry Heart print. Yeah. I don't remember where we got that. Was that at a Brony thing? Was that at a Comic-Con? It was at a Comic-Con. Oh, yep. here's our Jim Cummings autograph. <laughs> yep. We have the Jim Cummings. It was to John Van Antegan, signed as Pete. As Pete, <laughs> yes. I'm See, not, and then we bought this one I as have well. No, I have no rem remembrance, no recollection <laughs> of this one. So I think, I think that's it. We just bought this one and we bought that one at the same time. I really love this print. We definitely need a frame for this. Oh yeah, for from sure. The, from the first and probably only. last and <laughs> only Hascon. Yeah, I love this one. I mean, it has MLP, it has Hanazuki, it has LPS. I mean, obviously it has Monopoly, Play-Doh and Transformers, like all of their their hits but for us especially mlp and hanazuki that was for the one year span where hanazuki was yeah represented. hanazuki the <laughs> miss ya miss ya girl bangor comic-con poster yep didn't we get a print from the mlp artist at that one or am i thinking of uh we else? did get one and I remember we didn't have her put a name on it, and we, we were so all like, you know, we felt so stupid, and we're, we didn't know what we were doing. Fairly recent, we've been brave enough to ask people for autographs. Uh, yeah. Ask people, go up and pay them <laughs> money. It's like, we, I, I regret now we never got Andrea Libman's autograph. Yeah. We, <laughs> these are, oh, are these all the free, uh, po yeah. <laughs> free posters from Walmart from back in yeah, the day? Yeah, and we used to sell these. We sold a lot of them, too. Back in the day. And we still have a bunch left. Maybe we should relist them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these were all the free posters. Yeah, Walmart would have, like, a bin of these, and mm -hmm. they were free. And as you know, we go to a lot of different Walmarts, so we right. don't oh, take a couple. <laughs> and then we were selling them, <laughs> and people were buying them. Yes, yeah, at Peak Brony. Yeah. This is Coco. This is from before Coco came out. Yep. It was just oh, awesome. This is cool. Like the yeah. I think it's like a. Is this one like a black light poster or was that a oh, different one? Oh goodness, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't have a black light to test it either. But it, <laughs> it's neat. It's in, like it's embossed. It's definitely embossed. You guys don't know how hard it is to get these things home mm -hmm. <laughs> in a suitcase. Yeah. Here, let me give you a little close up of this of the art in here. Look at that. Isn't that not the coolest? I think this was probably going to be the one to frame because I don't see any bends on this one. Oh, good. Yeah, we we roll them in, uh, like we bring a poster tube and we roll them to bring them back home, but they still sometimes don't make it. Those were backgrounds that were sent to us. Droid tail. We must get that at Force Friday at yep. Toys R Us. We definitely need to frame this uh, Force Awakens poster mm -hmm. from D23. Yep. We each got one, but I remember I gave one away just to some stranger on the <laughs> yeah. way out because they were asking everybody yeah. for one. And it's like, well, I don't want to carry yeah. two of them around. We, I mean, we don't need two. Ah, the live action Jungle Book poster. Yep. We have two of those as well. Yeah. Nobody wanted. Nobody no. was asking for spare Jungle Book posters. <laughs> what else we got? 
if we see a free freebie poster, <laughs> well, chances are we'll pick it up, including the Lego Ninjago I think video that, game. I think that one came with the set big... of Ninjago Legos that were sent to us that we did a video on. Oh, uh, here's a, definitely a Toys R Us yes. Kylo Ren poster from Fourth Friday. And that needs to be hung up as well. So many. It's crazy. Here's some MLP backdrop. Oh, yep. I don't know what these originally came with. I don't remember either. Join the Rebellion. This is a poster from uh, another Toys R Us poster. <laughs> this is from Rogue One for yep. Friday. Oh, don't bend that, please. I know we've probably said it multiple times on this channel, but everyone would think that Rogue One is my <laughs> favorite Star Wars movie because I have at least four promotional shirts. Yeah. So this is also from Hascon, this... <laughs> Yes. The fake cereal box. Yeah. So the premise is you're supposed to cut it and do box art and make a cereal box out of this. But it's just on paper. Yeah. So it's not going to stick together. And there's this giant poster on the other side. Which if we were <laughs> like Transformers. A bowl, bowl of cereal is all Transformers. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Yeah. We just stumbled onto this. Yeah. Like at a trans also a Hascon at yeah. the Transformers booth. We just stumbled by at the right time and they were giving those away and I was like sure <laughs> all right another Toys R Us we got some uh at walkers at at, at, at. that's what old people call them <laughs> the younger generation are at at right we call yes. it at at <laughs> yeah all right we got two of those all right I think that's it you did you find our uh Linda Larkin autograph no. Princess Jasmine from one of those Granite State Comic Cons. No. I mean, there may still be another pile somewhere. I don't know where the rest of the prints are. We must have another pile somewhere. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a good, good chunk to get started on. Mm -hmm. So I was showing this to Tegan and, you know, explaining who everybody was. But I don't know who this is. I think she's from G.I. Joe because you have a member of Cobra over there, possibly yeah. Cobra Commander. And I think that must be a jet. Get your head off of that. That's, that's <laughs> artwork. Get your greasy, grimy head out of here. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So let us know if John is right on that one. So I found another. Oh, another whole bundle. Yeah, I think these are D23 2019 okay. bundles. So let's see what we got in here. First, we're definitely going to frame this if we can gently... Unroll it? Yes. Yeah, How is... cool is that? <laughs> Fuzzy on it. I think we, we definitely show this off because I remember pointing out who everybody was. Yep. We need to flatten these things out. Again. I know. They've been rolled up for three years. All right, what do we have in here? We got Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> we're not going to frame every single Star Wars poster, no. I don't think. I think we'll pick and choose. All right, what else do we have in here? Probably two of those. Oh, there's the Frozen one. Well, we didn't go to the movie panel this year. I think Lastic no. and Ryan. This is, the, this is the pile that Ryan and Lastic gave us. And I think the next one is Onward. Yeah. Those are, that one's cool, too. I like how the yeah, all one... of the, like, the badges are all embossed. They're like sticking out. And then another thing fell while you were behind the uh, my. A, a Yuma boxes. There's another one back there. Okay, this is the <laughs> like the ML, not MLP, the Little Mermaid <laughs> concept art. Remember oh, they're giving yes. out after the uh, yes. mermaid concert. Yeah. And we've got one of those. I know we have a little bit more somewhere. Yeah, we're still searching. We're still yeah. digging. <laughs> so you need to make a list of all the size frames we need. Okay. I found some more mystery tubes. <laughs> I have no idea what's in this one. <laughs> this one they have the poster for Oh, Lion King. Lion King before they had any idea what they were doing with it. And Or was that the Broadway Lion King? It, well, there's a PG rating logo on it. Oh, okay. So it must be the movie. It's the only one in there. Yeah. Okay. And Okay. What is that Through little thing? Year. Oh, this, this, right? No, this is. Oh, this is. I think we found the uh, Pegasus Unicorn. Uh. Oh yeah. Can you? Uh, because uh, Riviera, which is no longer there anymore. Yeah. 
And then, yeah, it's the Riviera Convention so, Center. If I had no memory of uh, those other pony prints. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, I think I know. I think I know. I think there's one that has um, like a, a like a Batman Applejack. Okay, I think I have vague memories of that. I, there it is. Yep, there's Batman, Applejack, Batmare. 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 Uh, a little, we got some scuffs. Bat, bat, bat. Well, it has been rolled up since 2013. Yeah, it's true. There's Batmare and... And a Rainbow Dash. Super Dash. Super Dash. Super Dash. And Twilight before her wings. This is Hermione. Hermione <laughs> Twilight. Very nice. I wonder who the artist was. We had the business card at one point in time. I, I'm sure if we dig up, like, the old haul video. It'll people... have it in there, I bet. Oh, man. Why didn't we have them sign them? I have no idea. We were, that was our first, It was like, our first convention. Pony Con and yeah. very early on in our Comic Con going experiences. We so. didn't know what we were doing. We didn't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm slowly making a list of all the prince and john found our uh mcdonald's translate did we show this on the channel before not on the vlog i don't think no free ornament or authentic reindeer from santa claus the movie 1985 <laughs> i won this on ebay for like 20 dollars it was a good deal <laughs> so we'll need a frame for that and just in case you don't know before all mcdonald's went to digital screens they would have those bo uh, light boards over the cash registers i would have the prices and then if they're doing something special mm -hmm. they would just slide in these every month yeah and this was from december of 1985 and if you don't know we have a podcast yes. that talks about this movie <laughs> that's why we, <laughs> that's why we bought it <laughs> i found more <laughs> okay what did you find this time this is 2015 um mlp fair oh wow that was like peak MLP fair. Yeah. It kind of dwindled off through the years. Yeah. I have no idea. Did we get this at MLP fair too? I don't remember. Uh, we must have. You can run, but you can't hide. It's Queen Chrysalis at the royal wedding with the changelings. We had to have gotten that at, you, at MLP uh, fair. We must have. I don't remember that one at all. Like most of them, I could be like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, I remember. I don't remember that one. <laughs> hey, don't put them over there. Put them over here. I need those, too. Oh, these mermaid ones? Yep. Okay. So, this is a pile of pictures that we got in fan mail. Yeah. That were hanging in our old office. Yeah. You know, when we rented office space before right. we got our house. Right. So, I, I haven't looked through them all yet, but maybe some of our missing pieces are in here. Okay. I wonder if anybody who drew these still watches us. I don't know. Let us know if this is you. These are so nice. We, we have a very large archive of fan art. We do. And very talented viewers. I know. They're amazing at drawing. Maybe some of these are like very famous. Maybe. <laughs> and this is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> It's me. Very nice. It's um, like what? It's like opening mail all over again. I know. Oh, that's a cute one. Oh, uh, that's from Pip. Pip Lop Goku. Oh yeah, Pip. I know you still watch. Look at that. Here's another one. Oh yeah, I remember. That's awesome. We have to hang these back up. I know. These oh, all... I like that one. I forgot about that one. I like that one. And there's like old timey yeah. Twilight. These are all from the same artist. Yes. There it is. That's the print we got from the comic book artist. But we had her sign it, but we. Right. We okay. were so new at it, we didn't think to. Uh, <laughs> we didn't think to have our name. She had already signed it, and then yeah. she just we didn't know what to write. We didn't know. We didn't, we didn't. We didn't say, "Oh, write it out to Ben and John." Yeah. It's like 
No, we were like uh, here in a headlight. That was very early Comic-Con yeah. experience. We were uh, new. We didn't know what the heck we were doing. Still, still no Linda Larkin autograph. But okay, that's, that was, that's, where could that be? I have no idea. I, I would think it would have been with this stuff. Yeah. I, I was sure it was going to be in there. <sighs> we're still on the hunt. I was getting ready to wrap it up down here and go back upstairs. And I remembered that we bought two prints at the Comic-Con that had, I think it was, is the Northeast Comic-Con that we saw this? Anyway, we bought this Coraline one and the Iron Giant print. And these two prints, they were like back to back in a plastic uh, frame. And I remembered that these were at the same Comic-Con. So I took these down and sandwiched between them, you know, to protect it was our Linda Larkin autograph. So here we go. We have it. It's made out to Tegan. <laughs> and it's the Princess Jasmine photo with Linda Larkin's autograph. So we found it. So I think we have found all of the ones that we were wondering about. So now I have to add these prints to the list as well, because they were just in, you know, like the plastic that you buy it at. We need to get an actual frame for this. So that's awesome. Yay. So we have framed a few of the pieces of art. This is not where they're staying because it doesn't really balance the wall at all. I'll step back. You can see it doesn't, it looks awkward, but it's just temporary. We still need to get more frames before I put them in their real homes. I just used holes that were already in the wall. <laughs> but we have our Mickey framed. The Hascon is framed. Uh, this used to be, here used to be a map that we got through D23, but I put together this puzzle. It's huge. It's like 24 by 36 or something. It's ginormous. And I put this together and I wanted to put it in a frame and this was the only frame I had that would fit it. So I hung this here, but the puzzles go on that wall. This canvas has to move too. I couldn't, I, that doesn't go there either, but like I said, this is all still a work in the progress, you know? <laughs> but we have a uh, Little Mermaid puzzle. We have Mickey and Friends. We have Donald and Daisy. Peter Pan in Neverland. It's kind of hard. I'm sorry, there's a reflection of our light, but there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, we have a Mickey and Minnie and Pluto in this cabin. This one was super hard to put together. This is probably the hardest one other than that big one on the other wall. We have aliens. <laughs> and then we have 101 Dalmatians over here. So that's my puzzle wall. My Mickey and Minnie puzzle. My Not Mickey and Minnie. It's my Disney puzzle wall. And over here we have our autographs. I want to uh, print off the pictures that we took with the ones that we took pictures with and have them next to them. But we have these ones on the wall for now, the three that we mentioned in the video. And then we also have, we also have the voice from Hanazuki and Toby and Hissy. <laughs> and then we also have Halloween Town. So um, I we have pictures for uh, one, two, and three. So these three, we have the pictures and I wanna put print those off and put them on this wall too. So there are the autographs and the couple that I have on this wall and the couple and the puzzles on this wall. But we still have more to do. I also have this puzzle up here. It's actually in the kitchen because it was food themed, but I think I'm gonna move it over with the rest of the Disney <laughs> puzzles. I don't know. Or I might keep it here. I don't know. It's in the kitchen because it was food related. You know, it was themed. <laughs> And I also picked up two more frames at a yard sale recently. So I have those to fill as well. I got one at Goodwill and one at a yard sale or two at a yard sale, one at Goodwill. I don't know. I bought more frames. So I'm going to start adding more <laughs> to the walls and uh, maybe in another month or so, I'll give you an update before we head to D23 in September. I don't know. Well, anyway, thanks for this little around the home vlog and we'll see you guys next time. That's all for today. Oh man! <laughs>